Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm going to show you the tutorial on the POQ. Okay, it's uh, part of the three models that we learned previously, in which the first one is the EOQ, and then we have POQ, and then the third model we have the QD quantity quantity discount. Okay, for POQ, it based on the component in which the component is also produce in the same um, facilities okay okay we take a look at this question uh, Moderna simulation motor manufacturer and they give us information on the company produce sub component for the uh, motorcycle with the rate of 300 unit per day in it means that one day it produces like maybe as uh, the sub component, the exhaust or the brake pad or something that related to the assembly of the motorcycle. So here we have 300 and it uses this sub component at the rate of 12,500 per year. That means for assembly, in which is all, all also means the demand for the motorcycle is 12,500 per year. And it gives us 250 of working days and the holding cost is RM2 ringgit per item and then the ordering or setup cost is RM30 ringgit okay they want us first is what is the economic order quantity or run quantity in which the queue and then they ask us how many production run per year okay and then what is the maximum inventory level okay remember in POQ we have the IMAX and then for the annual cost of ordering and holding okay and then first we take a look at the information given in which the demand per year we have 12,500 s is rm30 h is rm2 ringgit p they give us in which the producing uh, the production rate of the sub component is 300 per day and then we have 250 working days okay for the first one what is the economic order or run quantity so these are the formula for POQ and we see that it's a little bit like EOQ but we have to include the P and the U. Remember the P is the production rate and the U is the usage rate. Okay, usage rate can be found from the demand, annual demand in which we have the annual demand uh, divided by the working days and for this case we have 12,500 annual demand and the working day is 250 so it's 50 unit per day for the usage rate so now we can start to calculate our Q we have D as H we have P here 300 and a U 250 and then we calculate and we get 670.82 so remember for quantity we need to round up because it's the it's the whole thing okay you cannot uh, cannot uh, use uh, in the point form and then so we answered the question so the Q the best Q is the optimal is 671 units and then how many product runs per year will be made so it depends on your demand so the demand is 12,500 and the Q is 671 and remember how many times that we have to make the order it's the demand per year divided by the Q and we have to make about 19 runs, meaning 19 times that we have to make order for the sub component. Okay, we go to the next question. They ask us what will be the maximum inventory level? So these are the formula for IMAX in which Q we calculated earlier, P the production rate, and U the usage rate. So we have 559.16. Again, it's, we need to run up to 560 units. And then for the annual cost of ordering and holding, and the total cost is slightly different from the EOQ model, in which we need to consider the IMAX here. So we have calculated IMAX earlier. So the annual cost of ordering is 558.87 cents. And then for the holding cost is 560 thus the total cost is 1118 and so we have uh, calculated okay first we need to find the 
we have the information on the production rate and then we need to find the usage rate from the annual demand and how many days they work in a year and then we need to calculate the Q and then from Q we can calculate how many production run per year for the subcomponent and then we need to find the IMAX first before we can find the total cost so that's how uh, POQ model is used for this uh, question right so I hope you understand Okay, thank you.